In 2010 thought I was doing something And now I'm rapping with a crew or something I guess the track don't really stick unless he's blowing something And I never fit the shoe until I do or something Yo, brace so, myself Good morning ladies and gentlemen In today's video I'm gonna do another Day in the life now, it is currently 7 a.m. in the morning. I woke up at 6.30, and uh, if I'm being entirely honest with you guys, for the last 30 minutes, being a bit of a waste man, getting ready, I didn't lay out my clothes last night, which I normally do, so I had to find um, specific articles of clothing, um, and then, yeah, just kinda, just one of those mornings, like, some mornings I get up, and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go, and some mornings I get up, and I'm like, ah, oh, do I have to do this? And I'll be honest, it's one of those mornings. So uh, my PT, uh, we're not training today. Normally we train four times a week. So Josh, if you're watching this, sorry, I'm not following the protocol. But last night I just felt like I needed a run. I've gone for a run in a long time. And even though it is July in London, it's a bit of a chilly morning. So I thought, you know what? This is a perfect excuse. Cause I, I actually, I don't really like running when it's, uh, when it's hot. Unless I'm somewhere abroad and I'm gonna be running uh, shirtless and you know, that's totally normal and there's like some really good sun. Uh, but in London, yeah, I don't really like uh, running when it's hot to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, when I saw that it was cold this morning, I was like, all right, bet, I'll go for a run. So here we are. We'll start off the day with a run. I got my free train. Some people will always ask, how do I hold my phone? Uh, that free train. When I ran a marathon, <laughs> the first time I did a half marathon, uh, I held my phone and then that's when I realized like, okay, yeah, this is dumb. So I got that and then got my vapor flies. I've bought the alpha flies twice, both times. I just never use them. Uh, vapor flies are the one in my opinion. So, you know, let's go for a run. Well, I can tell you for a fact, not running for like three months, I feel properly unfit. My uh, Apple watch, I put it on and it was out of battery. So I think this morning I'm actually Kind of glad. We don't want to see how slow I'm going, but I don't even think it's the pace. Actually, it's just <clears throat> I'm savagely out of breath. Whew. So, ladies and gentlemen, wrapped up with my run. Now it is time to make some breakfast. So, for breakfast, we have some eggs and bacon. Delicious. That's it. I put the bacon in the air fryer for like six minutes. Super easy. I put the eggs on the pan for five minutes, four minutes, I think, and that's it. And that's my quick five minute breakfast. As many of you guys know, usually around eight, nine months a year, I am keto slash carnivore. So yeah, eggs are the best thing ever. Um, in terms of bacon, I'm still kind of making my mind up on that, or at least pork bacon, you know, uh, I just haven't had time, but I need to look into pork bacon versus turkey bacon and some other, old, I think there's even veal bacon. I had that in Dubai, because obviously they don't do pork there, but um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm gonna make breakfast and then get on with the rest of the day. By the way, apologies for, my house will be really messy in this vlog, uh, because I am moving in a month for six weeks, or five weeks. But anyways, when I move, uh, it'll be the last time ever. I'm leaving the UK, so. Yeah, my house is a mess and I'm, like as much as I want to clean it, I'm like, whatever. Every day I'm just like kind of moving one thing out of uh, my house uh, and into storage or just giving it away. So ladies and gentlemen, it is four and just over four and a half hours later, wrapped up with this morning's work. Usually I would make myself some lunch, but Tristan is here and I just want to have something quick. So just going to go to the members club, which I'm a part of, get them to whip up something real quick and then come back to the house. Uh, Cause I forgot, I actually have a call at 2.15 with my business partner uh, at the software company, as well as one of my senior performance markers at the agency, Luis, because we're actually starting to now onboard our clients and actually start using the software to replace Slack, Asana, simple invoices, as well as some of the other tools that we've had to use that, that my software company actually brings everything together with. So basically Pierre and I are gonna do a demo and actually show the software to one of my senior performance marketers. Um, and then yeah, that way he's just gonna start, basically we're actually just gonna start putting it into effect at my own agency. So uh, yeah, got that demo call in 35 minutes. So we're gonna have a really quick lunch, a nice keto, I think I'll probably go for like, yeah, probably salmon and avocado, what I always pretty much go for. And, um, and then yeah, come back, 
team calls and then get on with something a little bit more exciting this evening. Man, that club sandwich looks good. Delicious. Damn, dude. Ooh. Mm. Looks a lot more interesting than mine. <laughs> <laughs> So, ladies and gents, nice quick uh, little, ooh, oopsie, uh, nice quick little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Lunch. Nice quick little lunch done. I uh, had to finish up real quick. Left uh, Tristan at Kicks. Um, didn't want to rush him with his club sandwich. He looks so nice. I was slightly, slightly jealous. Um, I told him, like, maybe on one of the days when I'm not doing keto, I will try that because tons of my friends that I've taken there have raved about it. And then, Directly after in the in the club, they've got like an amazing like steam room sauna cold plunge. So I'll do that and you know sweat out the toxins. But anyways, now I got the call with my business partner and um, one of my uh, one of my lead uh, performance marketers. So I need to let him in now, and uh, I'll share a little bit, uh, you know, what I can. It's not confidential uh, of that call. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, I am late. I was just coming from lunch with uh, Tristan. No problem. Ugh. All right, there we go. Uh, I, so obviously, uh, you know Pierre, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, he was a old client of ours. So I, I, yeah. think, I think you know about agency flow, right? A little yeah. Bit. Okay, perfect. So now today is just demo it, and then I want you basically to start coming in and breaking shit, like okay. demo it like a user. Okay. Like, yeah. uh, I think you. I think you're really gonna like this. Like it's. I'm so excited to move over agency clients to this. Yeah. So uh, all the agency clients, oh, they're going to be able to see. Yeah, so this is outward facing. So there's there's a there's there's an inward facing version as the agency, but then as the agency, but then as a, as a client, you get a different experience. Oh, I didn't know about that. I think yes. it was just like for internal use. No, no, with that, then they, because they were, it's also meant it's meant to replace Slack. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So oh, wait, one second, just... yeah, no, there's like one dashboard you see if you're um, like the agency, and then there's a different mm -hmm. dashboard client facing. So for example, on the client facing side, they'll have invoices, but not to send as in like invoices, but just that way you can download any of the invoices with the agency you worked with. Uh, and then you can also, um, and then you can also, uh, obviously you have the chat and then you've got, uh, like project, like your, uh, you know, your dashboard, but then you don't have, yeah. um, or sorry, you, uh, you have you as a client, like you're the client dashboard, but you don't have like projects and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let him, uh, Pierre now and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll demo it and then we'll start going through it and really just trying to break it as much as possible. I like it. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello, hello. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, I'm good, man. Good to see you. Yeah, long time we'll see. I know, I know. All right, I'm excited. This is good. This is good. How are you guys going? Good. I'm doing great, man. Uh, perfect. Sorry. Perfect. Sorry, I was a little late. I was just like, no, it's, it's same as well. I literally just finished the call with um. So I uh, yeah, I told I told Iman we just hired a a tech advisor kind of thing for for the platform that kind of now comes on and really make sure that everything is like as good as it can be. And we have like processes in place and all this stuff. So that was the 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 original call to just figure out where everything is. You know, like each of the tech that we use, where is it based, who has access, blah blah. So the goal is over the next six months we can build almost like a little booklet of like all of the information because essentially that's the sort of thing that people will ask uh if we ever start you know discussing with a potential buyer or something like that they'll, they'll want to know mm -hmm. okay what happens you know this is this and so you know with that guy we're putting everything in place so this was pretty cool pretty mind-blowing i was like holy fuck all those words i don't even know what you guys are talking about but so i was like yeah this is a good idea to have this dude in there that can they can do so I'll do a call and maybe in about you know two three weeks with you, Iman, so the guy can explain to you and have your your your, your mind blown for a second about the, the whole complexity that this platform is from a code standpoint. So anyway, anyway, this is this is this is a, a quick thing which why I was a, a a bit late. So like when you first when you first arrive, you arrive on this thing called the dashboard. Um, sorry, uh, and of uh, and of course that will be uh, linked. On the um, key, when you, when you click on the on the on the the, the logo, button, it'll, it, yeah, it will come here. So essentially, this is kind of the first thing you see, like, hey, this is dashboard and personal space. Um, again, this is something that we don't need anything right now, but with Iman, we always try to think about what could we add on this dashboard that could make it like a really useful tool 
for the for the for the agency owner or whatever that can come and use it every day like kind of like almost like a place where they can set their own goals and so this was like for me more like a mental health type of thing is like i mean this is crap but essentially you should be writing whatever you want like you know like uh like i want to make uh, whatever whatever you want blah 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 and then you click mm -hmm. send and normally it saves i mean this one doesn't work and then you uh, then it will just reappear like that every day to you so anyway that's kind of crap but the goal would be what what could we add here in the future that could be actually useful so potentially like a place to write your goals for the year or something like that so then again because the man thought of that as, a, as an idea then you kind of almost kind of think about your goals as almost linked to agency flow if that makes sense because if you if you start ticking your goals and you're like oh yeah anyway so that could be something so here yep. you see all your up to upcoming tasks which are then this page is linked also to the task page so i'll, I'll explain to you in a second and then chats uh, of course, all the recent chat that you have. So then again, link to the to the chat hub. And this is like all the latest one that you just haven't mm -hmm. read yet. So then, one second here, one second here. Yeah. This is what the agency sees yes. and also what the client sees or the client no, doesn't no, see this? No, the client will see something different on the dashboard. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. When they, like when they log in, they'll, they'll directly arrive mm -hmm. inside inside the thing. So he, instead of yeah, saying A, yeah. hey, will say, you know, IG Media. And that's what they see. And so this is kind of the main place that they see. They, they'll still have chat because in the chat section, they can still direct chat to, for example, you. Like, you know, like when, when we're working together, I, I yep. don't have a message to you so I can, I can do this. But of course, they won't see project. They'll just be all and then clients. Clients and, and, and yeah. say agency instead of clients kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking for now. So it's it, we kind of restrict again what the clients can see, but at least the, the, the clients can directly feel like they're directly messaging and stuff. And so what they can see is like the brief, which, you know, like that doesn't, that's, doesn't say much, but anyway, it's kind of like what the agency would have created as a brief for them. So they can kind of double check whether it's been done all right or not. Mm -hmm. And here as well, uh, you know, potentially this is where the agency would have also added like all the links that you need, maybe the links for the Google uh, Drive folder, the links for the wh whatever it may be. Um, we're going to remove media so it, it won't be there. Then, of course, you have tasks, which you'll see potentially if the, if the agency has assigned a task to you, be like, hey, share your Facebook, uh, you know, like ad account with us, uh, you know, give us access to your Google Drive account, give us access to whatever it may be. Uh, and then notes, the way it works is like um, he, the clients can write their own notes if they want to, potentially yeah. remember, but also the agency can share a note with the client. And so, for example, for, for me, I shared um, with my clients, like, for example, like all the dashboards. So if I, let's say I, like, I, I create like a, a, a monthly export and, and then I have like, you know, I'll send the link here so I can, I can create one that I call like, I don't know, like a... Uh, uh, what do you call performance uh, dashboard? Yeah, mm -hmm. and and then here be like a link, like link one, and then you know link two or whatever. And so and so then um, you can just know that here in this place you always have all the performance dashboard. And so it could be the same for the invoices. It could be same for you know like this is where maybe you could send. Add re ads to be approved, or you know, what, like whatever people end up using it, and then team. Yeah. Um, can, can you pin it there, like a special note you want at the top? Can you pin? At the it? moment, you can't do that. It's just like if I add a new one, it's just like mm -hmm. a, a, a note two. It just kind of like yeah, it's chronological. Yeah, yeah, which is again an issue here. That's not that for some reason isn't working. Um, but yeah, this is this this is where you'll see it's so frustrating because from one week to another, it just yeah, it just changes and it goes back there. And you're like, what the fuck? But anyway, so that's why you really, that's why it's at this point that it really makes sense to be there. So, um, yeah. And, and by default, the notes are private, right? Yes, and the yes. ones that I want to share, I can share with the client. Correct. And here, click. So, anyone who clicks on share, anyone who is invited to this thing, clicks on share, is then visible for everyone at this stage. In the future, yeah. again, maybe you can decide maybe who you can share it with. Mm -hmm. But at this point, if I click here on share, uh, see like notes successfully shared with your team. And now, I mean, again, it's oh, oh, okay, okay. So the 
if it's private, it's private just for me. My team Correct. doesn't see it. Oh, okay, I got it. And then but, when and I share it, yes. both the team and the client see it. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, so, ladies and gents, that call uh, for the software company is done. Now it's on to team call. Uh, Tristan is upstairs in my office with like all the nice lighting set up. Uh, just getting B-roll for another video as well as the glasses portion of this bit. Uh, so I'm just taking my team call down here in my living room. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, guys, just here picking up the watch, wrapped up with team calls, and uh, it's time to... Time to do the new reveal. So we actually, I didn't, I didn't even tell them what I'm doing. So I think I, context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, context. Uh, got, got the call up yesterday from Rolex. I've been wanting this piece for a long time. Uh, Oyster Flex, rose gold Daytona, chocolate dial, and here it is. So yeah, yeah. Dude, these boxes are like they used to send in the hard covers or like the hard shell ones. Hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. I was telling, uh, yeah, we can keep this in actually, whatever. Uh, I was telling Tristan, uh, these two are gonna be the only rubber I'm gonna wear all summer. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> this watch is so hard. Guys, uh, so how does it work with the sizings? How are they, baby? Yeah, bit big. I think it's a bit big considering that it's with the thing in. And then if I take it out, then it's even looser. Like that's like way. Actually, I don't know. I'd say like just a little bit. Is it? Oh, should I bring my? So that's with the link. Um, open. Open. Yeah. Definitely don't want that. But this is beautiful. Can you also, can you also get me sorted in terms of telling me to get the right dials? Yeah. Because the thing is, there's so many options. Remember when I nearly got the <laughs> the chocolate with the uh, the date I got the chocolate. With the, it wasn't even the Roman numerals. It was the exactly. <laughs> what I was saying. If he's gonna get one. Yeah, the Roman. Oh man. Um, they spent so much on R and D for like, like even like the Everest gold. Yeah. Like I swear it's like something special about it. Yeah, they they, they mix it's copper and, and yellow gold and then they mix them like palladium or something in there as well. Mm. They're a special color. That's why when you look at it next to it, kind of like a, uh, AP gold, it doesn't look as pink. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Summer watch is sorted. 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 <laughs> right. In the last 24 hours. <laughs> 48, 48, 48, 48. So ladies and gentlemen, as Tristan kind of mentioned uh, when we started vlogging, like I didn't really give you any context. Um, so yeah, yesterday uh, I got a call up from Rolex. Um, and yeah, they basically said, hey, the watch you've been waiting for for a while, because there's certain pieces like it's not like, okay, not to say that it, this isn't a hard watch to get. This is definitely a very hard watch to get. It's just kind of with the amount that I've spent with Rolex, um, which at this point is, I would hazard close to around half a million pounds. Um, so like $750,000. It's, I'm in a fortunate position where I can get more of the sort of pieces that I want, I guess you could say. Uh, once you get to that amount of money, um, you're still nowhere near one of their top spenders. I'm probably not even their top 300 spenders. Like, and I know that sounds crazy, but seriously. Um, uh, but uh, you do get uh, some of the allocation that you want. So as I said, this isn't a piece that's necessarily extremely, extremely hard to get. Let me zoom out slightly. Um, it's not extremely hard to get, um, or or I guess on my end, it wasn't a piece that I was ever concerned that I wouldn't get. Uh, but, you know, especially, uh, you know, Daytona's, uh, especially especially Daytona's and then uh, Rose Gold and then on the Oyster Flex and then specifically the dial, right? Because you got to remember there's like, I think seven dial variations on this piece. Um, so yeah, this is actually the first ever Oyster Flex that I've owned. So Oyster Flex is referring to the band right here. And they actually launched this piece for the first time or they launched the Oyster Flex uh, for the first time ever, I believe in 2015. Uh, and that was on the Yacht Master, uh, the 40 mil Yacht Master, I believe. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, the Rose Gold Yacht Master. Um, and they also have it on a white gold, but that's a 42 millimeter. Um, I actually really like that watch, by the way. But yeah, that was the first time they launched it. And then in 2017, they applied this to the Daytona, right? And I think that it just, it's just incredible on this piece, right? I just think this watch is so perfectly balanced. Uh, I went for the chocolate dial. Um, it was between that or the black dial. Uh, and I got um, advised for the chocolate uh, because obviously my point of reference there, uh, you know, when you buy, I think at this point, uh, I've probably bought 
I don't know, maybe 20 watches from Rolex, maybe. Yeah, maybe 20 watches, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, probably like 20 watches. Uh, I guess he kind of knows uh, my style at this point. So I will take this off. Um, so yeah, obviously between these two watches, I feel pretty set for summer. Uh, I was told that, you know, the Oyster Flex is going to be more comfortable uh, because of its technology. So like, for example, I don't know how well this is going to come across, but if you look on the inside of this uh, Tech Philippe, right, it's just like mainly rubber. Whereas on the inside of the uh, Oyster Flex, what they've done is they a lot, made a lot more breathable. So that way, like the rubber is actually, uh, you know, there's always kind of space between you and the rubber. So like when you press down on this, there's actually like ventilation, right? So I've been told that this is gonna be a lot more comfortable. Uh, and just from the get go, I can kind of definitely get that feeling. Like it just feels like a very comfortable watch I'd be able to wear all summer long. And um, yeah, between these two, they feel like uh, feel like the perfect watch. Um, now, definitely uh, that I've gone this one, I'm going to put this on the orange strap. So it's a little bit more loud and out there. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say apart from this. Uh, this is, you know, I think this is my so I've got a platinum Daytona. I've got a steel Daytona. Well, I have one steel Daytona in 2019 I got that I gave to my mom. Um, so yeah, that's up with the black dial. And then I have the white tile, uh, dial Panda Daytona. And then I have um, and then I have obviously the Platinum Daytona. When I actually asked for the Platinum Daytona, it wasn't what it was now. Like now it's, you know, there's all this hype in this and that. But when I asked for it, like I requested one, this is maybe like back in early, mid-September of 2020, no one wanted them. Like, um, and yeah, I only ended up getting mine like maybe early December. But yeah, funny enough, no one actually wanted the uh, Platinum Daytona when I asked for it uh, uh, from my uh, from my point of reference. So yeah, uh, so that's, uh, I guess one Daytona I, I still, uh, you know, I don't have anymore. I'll say I gave it to my mom. I got the steel, I got the platinum. Obviously now I've got the Oyster Flex and I also have a rose gold uh, Daytona with the chocolate dial. So I guess somewhat similar, but it feels like a totally different watch. Um, and yeah, the other one that I want is definitely the white gold uh, with the blue dial. I think that watch is, is stunning as well, but I think on the flip side, I also have a lot of Daytonas right now. So yeah, that is pretty much that. I will get Tristan to throw in some very beautiful uh, B-roll and I'm sure he'll make like a nice edit out of, uh, out of the whole thing. So yeah, ladies and gents, that is pretty much it. As I said, I got to my desk from nine, uh, a very short work day today. I only worked from like nine until 4.30, um, you know, right after the team calls, usually, uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm working until, uh, and I'm sure you guys have seen in uh, some other vlogs, I'm usually working until, uh, I guess kind of the phase I'm in right now, at this point, like eight or 9 p.m. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, a little bit of a shorter work day. And now I'm actually gonna do a uh, early dinner. When I say early, uh, initially the, we were planned for 7.30. I'm doing a dinner with an old friend. And I told him, I was like, hey dudes, I'm sorry to be a bit of a grandpa, but could we move our dinner to uh, 6.30? So I wanna do 6.30 because then that way I can go steam room sauna after, be in bed by 10 and refreshed and ready to get to work for tomorrow because I have a, a long, long day ahead. So, so yeah, ladies and gents, that is uh, the new pickup. Let's go on with the rest of the vlog. You really smothered that. <laughs> I'm doing a day in the life vlog, by the way. <laughs> day in the life vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> On today's menu, Romeo and Julieta. It's uh, Sam's first first time, right? I have no idea how to see this at all, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I end off pretty much every single day with a steam room sauna. Oh my teeth are a little red <laughs> from the red wine uh, from dinner. Had a glass, but um, yeah. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna go steam room sauna, write my to do for tomorrow, get in bed by like 10:30, and pass out. So hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Look, if you enjoyed that video, I went ahead and picked out another special video that I know you're going to find immensely valuable. You can find it right there. I know you're going to love it, and I'll see you in the next one.